So, um, I had a dream recently, actually, like maybe five days ago, where I wake up in the morning and um, I get a, I have a lot of missed calls and I go down the stairs to go outside and then someone stops me and says, "Oh my gosh, you you have to you have to you can't go outside." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And she looks at me like so scared and she's like, "The." the poles have switched so everybody was just kind of waiting to Dad!
was damn near willing to just let him talk to me crazy because that shit was out of his world. Like, yes, yes, okay. Like, I was literally willing to ruin my career. Um, if this ever came out, who it was, you would be like, bitch, do you know what Google says? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I also know what that dick said. That dick spoke life into me, invigoration, blessings, soul, turmoil, but heaven, Jesus, Allah, sorry, please God, understand, this is just my truth, this is just my truth, this is just my truth. Harmonies are colors. Every time I paint, it sharpens my harmony. Yesterday I tried to paint you, but the colors weren't beautiful enough. Your love goes beyond what I can say. Love, Beyonce.
I'm sitting there with this lady, and she's maybe 10 or 15 or 20 years older than me. We don't know each other. We've never met. And so we're having this conversation, and in the course of the conversation, it's getting so awkward. And then I'm saying something, and she <laughs> says something. And then she ends up saying that her husband's dead. And then she corrects herself within just a few minutes and says, I don't know why I said that. My husband is not dead. And and then I'm kind of looking at her like, I mean, we both know the conversation has gone on way too long. Her lie is so massive because her husband is like 15 feet away from us. That she knows in the course of the conversation, she's got to own the lie. She's like, fuck, I can't just let this lie go by. I've got to say I'm full of shit. My husband being dead, that's a whole nother level of shit right there. That's like, fuck, he's going to come up and greet me any second. I've just told this guy that he's dead. No, so, but- so then later she goes up to him to, to tell him, like, I guess she like don't volunteers her time at the Humane Society. And he had told her that our French bulldog Cha-Cha had a little bit of a stomach virus. So she goes back to Josh later and is like, hey, you should give Cha-Cha some pumpkin. It's really good for dog to settle dogs. <laughs> stomach and josh still did a follow-up at that point he goes are you sure your husband's okay (laughs) was she kind of embarrassed yeah she was she was just like brain fart (laughs) yes he's in there (laughs) brain fart
Celestial, soy tu humilde servidor. Me presento hoy en ese ciudad de esperanza. Hay momentos en que me siento impotente. Hay momentos en que me siento débil. Rezo por esperanza. Necesito esperanza para un futuro mejor. Necesito esperanza para una vida mejor. Necesito esperanza para amor y amabilidad. Algunos dicen que el cielo está a su más oscuro justo antes de la luz. Rezo que esto sea cierto, ya que todo parece oscuro. Necesito tu luz, Señor, en cada sentido. Rezo para ser llenado con tu luz de cabeza a pies, para disfrutar de tu gloria y saber que todo está bien en el mundo, como has planeado y como quieres que sea. Ayúdame a caminar en tu luz y vivir mi vida en fe y gloria. En tu nombre rezo. Amén.
Slithering around like that. It's crazy, Maria. You've got to stop it. You've got to stop it. 